reproduction and reproduction and Thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for all your support in 2018, 2019. And uh, my main message for this year for all of us is dare to dream and dare to dream big. And we're going to be talking about a lot of nice things, a lot of hard to talk about things again, and uh, really getting into it. So yeah, share this journey with me. Uh, share your journeys with me. We're all on this same journey of life together. Let's love it. Let's embrace it. Big love. Happy New Year. As the sun's coming down on uh, this Sunday, it's a Sunday today, obviously, um, I wanted to talk about daytime and nighttime uh, and how we're, you know, on this cycle of a planet, which is something round, which is going round once a day, around a round thing in a circle once a year, you know, essentially. Um, and the, the secular nature to ourselves, our very being, you know, uh, this kind of whirlpool of, of life. Um, and the reason I got thinking about this was uh, when I'm happy, I want to stay happy. Like if I'm on the joy vibe, as I call it, like when I'm really happy, I'm like, oh, my heart's bursting wide open. I'm like, I want to text everybody and share it. I want to speak to everybody. I want to dance about my room and listen to the best tunes. I want to fucking explode like oh just wonderful like great feelings but then when I'm down like I can't hack it like and um, and what I'm trying to get at is like the nature of being up or the nature of being down or the nature of any kind of existence is it's not gonna last forever so what I've started to try and tell myself is when I'm feeling boss, when I'm feeling excellent, really having a great day or a great hour, you know, sometimes these things I can feel, like India will make you feel every emotion sometimes in a day. And this Sunday I've been going through one of those kind of days. And, um, and so when I'm up, I'm just like, I'm enjoying it, but I'm being present. So I'm kind of aware that this is how I feel right now, but I, I might feel shit or down later, not even, preempting that more like saying this is how I feel right now how I feel in the future is, is actually none of my business right now because I'm living in the present also when I'm down a big problem of mine is wanting to feel up when I'm down you know wanting to feel good when I'm bad um, and that's where drinking drugs and you know cigarettes and all of this kind of comes into play because it's trying to alter your state ultimately um, so what I tell myself now I was having a bit of a dodgy patch earlier and I was just sat in it so I bring myself and sit inside and kind of try and get out of my mind and try and sit in my body um, and I was just saying to myself this is temporary and here you have it I've just got hit by this whirlpool to use that phrase again of wonderful energy and this won't last forever either you know this is how I feel right now but ultimately that is what is important, accepting what's in the present. And uh, by this acceptance, I found it a lot easier to deal with the lows. And I've enjoyed the highs just as much as you can see right now I'm buzzing. So uh, big love to all of you. Um, take care, look after yourselves. I just wanted to film this right now. A, because I'm feeling like speaking. And B, that is just really nice. So uh, yeah, take care of yourselves. I want to hear from you. Keep on staying in touch. Um, and yeah, big love. That's the thing about spirituality. If you forget your sunglasses, you can just use your crystals. Hey guys, I thought I'd just give you a quick update of how I'm getting on with my gratitude lists. Uh, it's something I've been trying to do every day. It doesn't happen every day, um, but I try and do it most days. So I thought I'd show you today's, that's my little list, I'm going to date it in a second, I can't remember what the date is today, 10th or 11th, something like that. Uh -huh. So Poha, I had Poha for breakfast, uh, breakfast often appears in my gratitude list because I do it in the morning time. Um, Poha is like an Indian kind of rice dish with like peas and nuts, really tasty and just a nice start to the day. So Poha, uh, <laughs> Disco was my second one, uh, Disco is quite funny because I was kind of like thinking late last night as I was kind of falling asleep, I was like, 
oh, I would like to find some new music to kind of boogie to. Um, and then I woke up this morning and I checked my YouTube and there's a French dude called The Reflex and he put up a really long mix and I've been playing that and dancing about this morning. Um, it's really good to check it out. It's called The Master Tapes Volume 1. Uh, I really recommend if anybody's into that kind of thing. Uh, number three, The Ganga. I can see it now, the, the River Ganges. and like I'm so lucky that I get to spend quite a bit of time like right next to it. It's, it's amazing. It's so clearing. It's so cleansing. It's windy. It gets really windy at night. You might even be able to hear a bit of the wind now. But it's amazing. Um, it's so special. I'm very grateful for that. Uh, number four, Ed, my best mate. So Ed, if you're watching, I hope you are. Um, big shout out to you. Love you, man. Uh, it's just feeling a lot of gratitude towards you. We had a, a couple of really funny texts yesterday and they were making me laugh the whole day long. So uh, that's one of the reasons why you made it onto the list today, amongst many others, might I add. Um, and number five, Shanti. There's two dogs here. There's Peace and Shanti, but me and Shanti were like this. Uh, got a good special connection. I'll try and get a little video of her, but she's gorgeous, and uh, to, to sort of tail on to the end of this. So yeah, I mean, I've done a few other days this week. Uh, things that kind of crop up, uh, funny things like my singing bowl course, Spotify, other friends keep on popping up. Birgit, my godmother, she's made a couple of appearances. Annabelle, yeah, you were in the day before yesterday's. Where else have we got here? So yeah, it's just like you can write anything. What are you grateful for? Write it down. Get doing it. It's going to work. It's going to help. Yeah. Hi team. I wanted to show you uh, a, a further bit on this routine technique, which I kind of touched on a little bit last time. So if you find yourself sat down in any any time, any day, uh, any place, then you can employ this technique of sort of holding or resting your, your hands below your knees and what that will do is that will create this circuit and it will help ground you, it will help root you. Um, but I have since learnt since the last video a further element to this technique which I'm now going to share with you. So here we've got the colours of the chakras. Uh, red uh, represents the root chakra, orange, uh, sacral, uh, yellow, solar plexus, green or uh, pink for the uh, heart and high heart, turquoise for the throat chakra, indigo blue uh, for the third eye and for your crown violet and I think hopefully you can see all the colours there. So to speed up this process of routine what we can do if we so choose is to sit, create the connection. Uh, I mentioned a little earlier sitting in yourself so this is an idea just drop the mind and then as we do that, focus on the colour red. Red being the colour of the root. By doing this, what you will achieve is uh, a quicker route to rooting. Uh, so if you want to not focus on this kind of meditation or whatever you want to call it, and just chill, podcast, TV, whatever, football, then that's cool, just sit like this. Sit, the, sit like this if you're on a bus, or on a train, in a car, and it will help. It's just, it's just something cool, so easy you can do. That's what I really like about it. It's like, it's a bit of a fast track, but if you wanna speed up this process and you have the available time and energy, you don't really need any, any energy, uh, then what you do is you focus your attention on your root chakra, which is kind of just above your agreements. Um, it's your kind of battery, it's where you store all of your energy, all of your power and focus on the colour red. Dropping your mind, sitting in your body as best you can. I know those might sound like alien words to you and abstract ideas, but they kind of make more sense the more you go with it. So if you employ a little bit of faith, then you'll get a nice big fat reward. And focus on the colour red. And what you will achieve by doing this is in 20 minutes of doing this, you will ha have the same effect of being sat like this for an hour without the kind of uh, consciousness of it. So yeah, little technique for you and a little talk through the colours and the chakras. Uh, if you feel like you have any blockages, like especially in the, in the throat, if you feel like you can't voice what you want to voice or say what you want to say, just imagine turquoise around your throat. And um, it's a cool little uh, thing that you can do. 
should you so choose. So yeah, that was episode 22, I believe. Thank you all for watching. Namaste.